As you can see, there's a plethora of wonderful airplanes here, old and somewhat new, and uh, it's amazing how far people come to be here and uh, be part of this. They enjoy the simplicity of this airfield and this event. Yeah, so this is the, the MAC, the Midwest Antique Airplane Club. They call it the Grassroots Fly-In. It's our annual event for the Midwest Antique Airplane Club. And it's held every year, always the second weekend in September uh, here at the Broadhead Wisconsin Airport. It's been here for, you know, I'm not sure how many years, but many, many years, a long, long time. I think one of the things that makes it unique is that it's really kept a nostalgic old time atmosphere to it. Everybody's just here talking, hopping rides, flying around, having a good time. The Mac group, this is their like private fly-in, their party. I think they've been doing it for 30 some years. And then the chapter got involved so that we could help supply food and a place to gather. Do a fish boil on Friday night, pork chop dinner on Saturday night. We have breakfast, lunch. It's not about raising money for the chapter, but it's, it's all about us helping our fellow aviators. We've got a lot of wonderful volunteers. Uh, it wouldn't happen without them. And uh, they come in and uh, work hard and get a system down and it's efficient and it's fun. And so many people show up that it's light work and it's a labor of love. And I think Paul Polverezny instilled that in all of us, that uh, it's at the grassroots level, you know, we want to maintain that. And it's all about the spirit of volunteerism and the, the compassion and the passion for flying. You know, you can spot a pilot a mile away, they got a twinkle in their eye, you know, and, and uh, it just is contagious. And you get a bunch of people together like that, this is quite a party. I don't know a single person here that did not come from a EAA chapter in their local area. Everyone here has, you know, you see them walking around, they've got EAA chapter one from Play Bob, you know, they got all, all different numbers, all different chapters from all over the, uh, the country come. And it's not just around the area, there's a lot of local traffic, but we have someone here as far, and the, they flew a steerman here from uh, Santa Rosa, California. Just driving around here this morning, you see people getting out of airplanes and hugging people. It's, just, it's, it's almost a reunion. You know, a lot of people have been coming here for a long time. Um, but you know, we welcome new people, and it's, it's people with a common interest in old airplanes. You make friends really quick here, um, talking about old airplanes and you know, swapping parts. You know, where can I get a starter for this thing? And things you don't find in the Univer catalog or something. So yeah, a lot of common knowledge, and people keep coming back for that. Um, just a really great group of people. I just thank every guy I, and gal that keeps these flying. I thank them profusely for doing just that, keeping these things flying and for all to enjoy uh, all generations, young and old. If you're into antique airplanes and you like flying in antique airplanes and you like the opportunity of getting rides in antique airplanes, the Midwest Antique Airplane Club's uh, grassroots annual fly-in hosted the week after September is definitely for you.